And now for something completely different. For all of you out there that are already getting bored of the election coverage, we decided to do a bit of celebrity spotting instead. And where better than at a comic book convention? Attracting stars from the big and small screens, we managed to find one of the galaxy's biggest foes and the first female officer of a starship. The realms of science fiction and fantasy have, in recent years, moved more into the mainstream, and comic book conventions attract thousands of visitors over a weekend. Many go to get a glimpse of their favourite actors, some of whom who'd come over from America. So, we wanted to know why they enjoy coming to British conventions. Well, we're good to have a new fan base here, and the Hulk was like God over here when it first came out. And I've done two British films. I just finished filming a movie at the lead castle called The Persians of Thrones, at the comedy of Game of Thrones. So England becoming like my second home, but the Hulk is worship here. I'm happy to come here for the convention because I'm very well received. Uh, I wouldn't be here if I didn't enjoy them. I enjoy the, our fans. Oh, um, I love coming to Comic Cons um, because you get to meet your fans, the people that actually go and see your films, um, and it's just good to you know give something back. Uh, if it wouldn't be for the fans, we'd be unemployed. I'm excited because I meet so many fans here. They, they see me when they were little. I've seen grandfathers, I've seen fathers, I've seen grandchildren because they all say there's nothing like the, the original Hulk. I, I just love meeting the fans. I, I really do. I thoroughly enjoy it. I, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's interesting to see, you know, see people from all ages. I mean, from like sort of five-year-olds to fifty-year-olds, um, all, all are, are absolutely knocked out with not only Star Wars itself. But they think all, they think that Darth Vader is one of the greatest characters ever. Like, you know, I go to conventions in the UK and America, and uh, and, every, and everybody wants to know who, who Darth Vader really is. And so, consequently, as I said, I, ne I, I never, I haven't, I haven't got, I haven't got a Darth Vader uniform or, or suit, or I haven't, I haven't even got a Darth Vader mask. For some of the stars, England has become a second home, with many of them working on new film projects here. I do uh, PA tours. And in January, I did a club appearance tour all over uh, England, uh, but normally it's all over the UK. I usually come during fresher and do uni tours, and that's an experience all by itself. <laughs> the movie that I just uh, finished is a British film called Instant Death, which came out two weeks ago. I filmed that in Bristol. It's about a guy from the Special Forces, Six Events, very hostile film. And we asked how some of the stars got involved in their most iconic roles. I just got a phone call. But a phone call from the, from the, from the uh, guy who was directing it and uh, asked me if I would go to, uh, go to Elstree Studios to, uh, to meet up with him. He said, well, this is, this is what I'm doing and, and uh, I, I would like you to play the, the, the big villain of the character, of the, of the film. And I thought, I jumped at it. I, I thought, what more could you wish for? You know, and it, was, uh, it was lovely and I'm thrilled to bits to think that here I am 40 years later you know, chasing around the world on, on the back of Darth Vader, as it were. What has been your favourite part of being involved with the series as a whole? Being involved. How incredible was it? Was Gene Roddenberry? Oh, it was an incredible man. Uh, a, a dear friend and a wonderful person about Star Trek. I, I gotta say my first Austin Powers, uh, because it, I was such a fan of the first one. And then being a part of the second one, it's just, you know, frosting on the cake. No, I haven't been approached. I mean, there's been rumors going around for 10 years. So um, I hope it happens. I don't know. But, you know, we'll just have to wait and see. Sorry you couldn't make it today. <laughs> <laughs> We're having a good time. <laughs> this is Richard Stringer for That's TV.